Welcome to 8482 Media Tutorials, where today we're going to talk about Google Sheets and how to reference multiple tabs in a single Google Sheet file. All right, so today I'm setting up my main sheet. I'm calling it Sales 2023. Uh, let's see, we're going to create a sales team here. Anna, Claire, Heather, Veronica, and let's do some formatting here and make our size uniform. Now, I'm going to duplicate this sheet because I'm going to create 12 months that make up a financial year for a company, for my sales team here. So I've copied the sheet over. I have the sales team on the original sheet. Now it's in the copied sheet, which I'm going to call January. And let's say that Anna sells 22 units this month of January, while Claire, 13, Heather, 35, and Veronica, 19. I'll go ahead and copy this sheet over. Call it February. Where Anna has sold 10 units, Claire, 15, Heather, 14, Veronica, 25. And I'll continue on from there creating the sheets that make up the financial year. And the real the point of this is we'll be able to reference each one of these tabs, each one of the months, on our main sheet in the end. So here we are. May. Copy over to June. Folks are getting better at sales. July. August. September. October. November. And finally, December. So now that we have the 12 months set up, I'm going to go back to my main sheet, do a bit more formatting, set up my headers horizontally across this main sheet, January through December. All right, got my formatting together now. And what I want to do is start to cross-reference. So Anna, in January, sold 22 units. This tab is called January. Equal Jan exclamation and then add the cell address, which in this case was C7. Google Sheets then anticipates that I would probably want to do that for the rest of the sales team and responds likewise. And I can do this throughout the remainder of the year. Quick formatting adjustment. I go through. Now here in April, I'll go ahead and do each one manually. So it's the tab name, exclamation, in the cell that we're referencing. And of course, we're going to have to start this formula with an equal sign as you do in all formulas and all spreadsheets. So equal, the tab name, exclamation point, then the cell that you're referencing. And as you can see, we're going through here. We're very quickly building this annual overview by following this technique. I'm going to rename this main tab. Give it a name, 2023 Summary, and there we have it. I'll go ahead and name the file as well, Sales 2023, and there we are. Thanks for stopping in to 8482 Media Tutorials. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.